Layered Abstraction, Margot Allman and Helen Mason is part of the Delaware Art Museum's Distinguished Artist series. It celebrates two artists who have dedicated their careers to exploring the infinite possibilities of abstraction. For more than 50 years, Margot Allman and Helen Mason have challenged expectations for art in the greater Brandywine Valley. Instead of realistically representing the world around them, both artists use shapes, colors, and lines to create dynamic compositions. Join me, Margaret Winslow, Curator of Contemporary Art, as we look into the exhibition. Margot Allman's early woodcuts establish many of her lasting principal concerns. Here, in Awakening and Dissonance, and throughout her career, she explores a sensitivity to texture, quality of line, and the endless inspiration of the natural world. Helen Mason's early paintings, like Sunrise and Sunset, were inspired by abstract American painting of the 1950s, Artists during this period experimented with gestural brushwork and expanses of color referencing figures and the landscape. In the early 1980s, Margot Allman began to create large-scale works of art that she referred to as archetypal statements of primal occasions. In these, she explored the themes of coupling and childbirth. The dramatic paintings on Tyvek are indicative of the emotive and gestural art movement known as Neo-Expressionism. Helen Mason's neck pieces form a symbiotic relationship with the wearer. She explains that she searches for what she refers to as new ways to make three-dimensional forms for the body that are an extension of the person wearing them. The work is then activated, moving dramatically and dynamically when worn. In the mid-1990s, Margot Allman began exploring what would become a signature shape, the oval. Allman explains that the biological form is the modular unit of her work. By repeating and layering that element, the artist creates a composition that modulates between foreground and background. The resulting paintings create dynamic movement across the painting surface. Helen Mason explains that an important element in her art is the incorporation of new and unexpected materials. For the artist, this provides an opportunity for experimentation, and as she explains, the means to move beyond traditional boundaries. Following the completion of several large-scale sculptures, Margot Allman began a series of painted waves and totem forms. The artist was free from the constraints of building these structures. Instead, she imagined the monumental sculptures on paper. Helen Mason's Tower of Memory was commissioned to respond to the 1999 production, Distant Voices, by Julie Nishimura and Danny Peake. That performance followed the experiences of Hiroki Nishimura. While incarcerated in a Japanese-American concentration camp during World War II, Mason explains that the sculpture includes piano pieces as symbols of the people interned in the camp. The wood, is a metaphor for the shattering of their lives. The camps are represented by the perforated aluminum that indicate fencing. The watchful eye of the guard is seen at the top of the sculpture. The bright red form in the center symbolizes the suffering of Japanese Americans affected by President Franklin D. Roosevelt's Executive Order 9066. In a series of sculptures from the 1980s, Helen Mason combined two dynamic processes, raku firing 
an anodizing metal. The hot ceramic forms were placed in straw, which caught on fire and created the mottled surface. Mason then anodized the aluminum squares using an electromechanical process to make the metal surface accept color. The resulting sculpture, like tall split pyramid, combines bright reflective elements with smoky earthen tones. Following a move into a new home and studio, Margot Allman began incorporating straight-lined geometric forms into her drawings. Many of her earlier compositions evoke the curving contour lines on a map. Allman's new direction and incorporation of red call to mind other abstract painters who used line and color to create illusions of endless space on a two-dimensional surface. As a regional museum founded by members of its community to connect people to art, the Delaware Art Museum takes pride in celebrating those artists who have impacted the trajectory of contemporary art in the greater Wilmington area. Margot Allman and Helen Mason have done just that through their artistic practices and dedication to their communities. This exhibition celebrates their endeavors.